A forgotten artifact lies in pieces on a planet far from Earth. Few know it exists except those who took it back and those whose ancestors created it. Four young people are thrown into a race against emissaries of the gods to find its pieces. Mistrust, greed, and magic are tangled in an endless web. What will the fate be of the universe once it is found and reassembled? Get Scepter of the Gods, The Rod of Truth now on Amazon and get wrapped up in the saga that will not let you go. Good morning and welcome to the Motivational Devotion, where we are merging motivation and spirituality to create a daily dose of confident positivity. I hope that this morning's podcast will help you to be more spiritually and positively motivated so that you can transform your day. This is a special episode in a series of podcasts based on Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. For several years now, I have gone back to the habits taught in this book to prepare for the coming year and home in closer and closer to my lifelong dream and my goals so that I could more effectively achieve my goals. Year after year, we hear people joking about setting New Year's resolutions and then abandoning them by February. Personally, I don't find that very funny. I hope that your resolutions are more important to you than to give them up after only a month or two. What if you were to set one, two, maybe three at the most resolutions or goals for 2024, and then at the end of 2024, find that you nailed each one of them? You can. I set two goals that to me were very large. As I talk about in the motivational devotional, I had to change and grow to become more than I was in order to achieve those goals. As I say this now, I have done that. I changed. I grew. I achieved. Starting with the November 27, 2023 podcast and running through the New Year's Eve podcast, This series offers 35 episodes of principles, inspiration, and motivation that I use toward fulfilling my own lifelong dream. I have audacious goals for 2024, but only three, because more than that will water down your efforts. I will achieve mine by this time next year. You can do the same, and I hope you will pursue yours with relentless intent. If you find these helpful, please go to the Motivational Devotional Facebook page and let me know. For now, let's get on with it. You know the story. Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem for the census, tried to find a place to stay, but everything was full, so they had to stay in a stable, and that's where Jesus was born. The typical conversation around this at Christmas time regards people having room in their hearts for Jesus, and this piece is not contrary to that. I do want to offer another layer, so to speak, about Christmas blessings, and this can be meaningful to you regardless of your faith tradition because it isn't specific to Christianity. You may think that's absurd, since I am writing this about Christmas, but, well, stay with me for another minute. What is the common thread between no room in the inn, feng shui, a cork in a bottle, and relentless intent? Hmm? Anyone? I assure you I am not crazy, but then that's what crazy people say, isn't it? From this point forward, beware. I've been thinking the last day or so about all the years of my life I spent carting around stuff. Do you have a storage unit? Is it because you are temporarily storing something important, or does it have to do with a business or something like files you keep archived? Or is it because you just have too much stuff to have it at your home? I've known people who paid monthly storage all year for the Christmas decorations because they had no room at home for them. And you were thinking I was a crazy person. So let's set aside the no room in the end thing because we summarized that. Feng Shui. I'm no expert with it, but the one thing that I've taken to heart is the idea of the flow of energy through one's home, one's life, and one's being. God, the universe, the mother, Gaia, Allah, however you label the ultimate creative power of the universe— is already flowing infinite blessings and abundance through each human on the planet. If you had so much furniture that you had to place a dresser against your front door, how would you go in and out? Through a window? You think that's ridiculous, but isn't that what we do when we place so many things to do in our everyday lives that we don't have time for sleep, spiritual renewal, and some fun? When our lives are blocked up the way a home can be blocked up, 
The energy flow of the universe is blocked up, and so we get frustrated. People even say, why is God punishing me like this? God isn't punishing you. You've already set your life up that way. Make a change. Make lots of changes. Move the dresser away from the front door. Let go of resentment and regret. I realize that I am going way out on a limb on my own with what I believe about the meaning of Christmas because I honestly have not heard anyone else talk about it this way, but for a couple of decades, this is how I've come to see it, and it rings as true in my heart as the bells of Christmas. It's not the party line of Christianity, regardless of the flavor of the ice cream. The creative power of the universe is spiritual light. Light with power, the original power that created everything, and it created and still recreates you and me. That light is seeking a place to be born, and year after year, day after day, most human beings, Christians included, push that light aside because of the dresser against the front door. As opposed to visible light, spiritual light is fluid, similar to water, and it flows, and it flows through everything. That light is the light of Christmas. Can you rearrange your inner being, your heart, to allow that light to be born in new ways in your very inner being? Remove the cork. Remove all blockages. Let your life flow and let light flow through you, and you will find that all this time, all of creation has been conspiring in your favor. Trust. Please trust that the universe always has your back. See, not so crazy. Oh, that part about relentless intent? Well, that dresser will try to slide back against the front door all on its own. All the clutter you release will try to close back in. That's why so many New Year's resolutions fail. Change for the better is not easy, but it is infinitely easier than sidestepping around spiritual clutter the rest of your life. If you intend to let the light of Christmas flow through you going forward, you have to be relentless about filling that space with what you do want so that what you don't want doesn't ooze back in and block up the space. Put the cork back in your bottle. Screw up your feng shui and hang out the no vacancy sign on the any belly button. Staying open requires relentless intent. But you can do it, if I can do it, and baby, I'm doing it. And let me also add, on this Christmas Day in 2023, have a Merry Christmas, have a Happy Holiday, whatever it is that you celebrate. Just enjoy it with the people that you love, because you may not have them next year. So enjoy all the ones that you can spend the time with this year. Many blessings to you. Now, I normally end a piece like this with a quote. So to keep it simple, I will give you the following quote from Nike. Just do it. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Please help keep this podcast going by following the Motivational Devotional Facebook page, following at Threefold Way Radio on Twitter, and sharing the written format of today's message from motivational-devotional.com on your social media. I am deeply grateful for your support and thank you for letting Motivational Devotional be part of your journey. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Motivational Devotional is a production of Threefold Way Radio, LLC.